Hey guys, so this is going to be a 99 cent only store haul. I went there yesterday seeing what I could find for a baby shower present for twin boys. It's Robert's twin brothers that are going to be born. His dad is expecting two babies. So I wanted to see if I could find anything cute to add into the gift because I'm going to be going to Target to get some stuff off their registry list. And I like to go to Dollar Tree, 99 cent only Ross, and find like filler items. So I wanted to go with an all gray and white theme. Most of the stuff I got is gray and white with the exception of one item. So I will specify price. I also got regular items, not just baby items, you guys. So the first items that I'm going to show you guys are these super cute sippy cups. And these are in the Even Flow brand. And the reason I got them sippy cups instead of bottles is because when you have a baby shower, you mainly get everything in newborn to like zero to six months. And then like toddler and when they get a little bit bigger, you don't have as much stuff. So I think those gifts are great. Also, I don't know what kind of bottles they're going to use. I'm guessing she's going to breastfeed, so I didn't want to get into that. So these were $1.99 each, and they're in my gray color for my theme. I just thought they were really cute. They've also got the plastic inside so they don't leak. And yes, ignore my nails, you guys. I'm taking my acrylics off. So I got both of those. <clears throat> I got them each a little pair of the gray and white booties. Last time I went, they did have actual gray and white shoes in a little mesh netting with a white um, bow on them. I should have got them, but these are for newborn, so I know they can use them. They're in the Baby Views brand, and for a dollar, you can't beat that. I got them each a little bandana bib, also in gray and white. And it's for zero to three months. It's cotton, so it's soft. It's got a little snap on the back. You can always use bibs, especially when they're first born, because they drool when they're eating. I got them each a little baby, baby views infant cap for a dollar. These are zero to six months. Once again, something that you will use a lot of little beanies to keep their little heads warm. It's got the little bear with the little gray star. And these are cotton as well. I'm not sure, though, if I'm going to leave them in these little generic plastic things. I might open them up, roll them up, and then tie them with a bow. So I don't know. Do you guys think I should leave them in this or roll them up and tie them in a bow? The only good thing about them being in here is um, you can see them sprawled out. So these two items were from Dollar Tree, but I wanted to show them to you in this video just for the sake of you guys being able to see what I've gotten for the baby shower gift so far. Tell me these are not super cute from the Dollar Tree. And they go with my color scheme. So these are in the Baby Lounge brand. Four piece Born to Shine washcloths. It's got the little elephants, the polka dots, the gray, and then the charcoal dark gray. So they each got a pack of those. Also another thing you can use lots of rags. <clears throat> I got two of these microfiber blankets. Granted, they're not baby blankets. They're just regular size blankets. But um, they were in my gray and white um, theme. And they were only $1.99. So they've got the bow on them. And then it says microfiber throw. They're 50 by 60 inches. So you can fold them up. I'm obviously not going to leave these tacky, bright yellow price tags on anything. They're super soft, you guys, so I thought those would be a good gift. And I didn't dig through the entire bin. I should have. I totally wish I would have found two of these. I thought about throwing this in um, the gift, but that's just weird. Why am I going to give them each one of these and then one when there's two? So I'm probably just going to keep this for myself. I just could not pass it up. And this is an actual baby coral fleece blanket. It's got some weight to it, and it's so soft, you guys, for $1.99. It's 27.56 inches by 35.43 inches. I might be going back there tomorrow, so I'm going to see if I can find another one of these. If I happen to get lucky and find one, 
then I might give them these instead of these and then just put these aside for Christmas because these are just so adorable with the little rosebuds all over them. I did find another blanket in the exact same size. It was like the same brand or baby coral fleece blanket and it was gray, super soft just like this with the white backing. It just didn't have the rosebuds. The only downfall to it was the stitching right here was in a very pale light pink. You really couldn't even almost tell that it was a light pink. There was no other pink. But I was like, mm, I'm not going to chance giving them anything with like light pink on it. So this might end up being just a little throw for my couch. Not sure, guys. And then also I thought it would be super cute to throw in these stuffed animals. And last time I was at 99 Cent Only, I saw this exact same zebra. And I almost bought him. It's super plush, super soft. And it was only $2.99. I wanted to Google this brand. It's in the um, Manhattan Toy Company. I wanted to see um, if it's like a good brand because it feels like a really nice stuffed animal. The quality is awesome. And I thought that would be adorable with my gray and white theme. So like I said, I didn't pick it up last time. I picked it up this time. I should have dug more through the bin. I couldn't find a second one. So I had to go with the horse. He is super adorable. It's the same brand, super plush. So I still got them each one, but it throws off my um, gray, white, and black color scheme. So if I go back tomorrow, I'll see if I can find one more of these. And then the rosebud blankets, if not, it's not the end of the world. But I just thought it would be cuter that way. So I got that. Let me move these blankets out of the way. Coco is awake and she is barking. So I'm probably going to have to pause the video to let her out because she will not stop. So the next item that I got was this super cute wall sign. This is going to go on my gallery wall. It says Home Sweet Home. It was $1.99. They had four or five different color um, combinations. They all had this wood look. These have some weight to them. They're wood, and they had different colors. One was like a turquoise color. One was like um, this color, like a cardboard wood color. So when I go back, I might get the turquoise one for my mother-in-law's gallery wall. It said like hope, faith, and love, and then it had like beige, turquoise blue, and white uh, paint stripes on it. So I got that. I also got this and I had saw this on Instagram. It's a cutting board. It says the kitchen is the heart of the home and you could either set this on the counter as a basket or you can hang it. This was $4.99. I thought this was really cute. They also had the little um, three pack kitchen hooks where they're wood and they look like little mason jars and they have writing on them. I had those in my cart, but then I decided to put them back. I did take pictures of those. I will post all the pictures on my Instagram. They had them in black and white, and then they had them in like the wood color with white writing, I believe. So let me show you guys one more item, then I gotta pause the video and let the dog out. Because wouldn't you know, as soon as I start filming, she has to start barking. <sighs> So then I got, they had a table set up at the front with like stuff that was geared towards Mother's Day. This is the Con Air plush neck pillow with soothing sounds, $5.99. It's got an adjustable volume control. It's got a timer of 15, 30, and 60 minute settings. And then those are the sounds you could set it to. I honestly thought it had like a vibrating massager in it, but I thought wrong. So it'll still make a nice little gift. Okay, Coco. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I had to let my dog out. So then the next item that I got, I thought was really pretty. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to give it away as a Mother's Day gift. It was $7.99. It's really big. It's in the Edinburgh Clockworks Company. And they had... 
multiples of these in different colors, but this kind of eggshell blue with the charcoal, I think, is just so pretty. I'm almost positive that I'm going to have to keep this because it's just so pretty. I looked to see if I could find the same one in the same color because I would have bought two, but this was the only one that I could see. They do restock every morning, so if you're local, definitely check because, like I said, they do have more of these. I just don't know if you're going to find this color. They had, like, black with gold. I don't remember the other colors. This one was just my favorite. It says, love, live, home, friends, laugh, happy, and family. So I got that. Super, super good deal. Let me grab this bag. Then they had these Hello Kitty. You guys know I love Hello Kitty for a dollar, you guys, which I thought for sure they were going to be like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. They were a dollar. So they still do price some things at, I mean, all of it's good deals, but they do still leave some of the really good deals for a dollar. I almost decided just to get two, one for the, or one each for the front seat belts, but I decided just to get four. Um, so there's cushions on all of the seat belts, you know, like obviously not as a driver, but if you fall asleep and your head leans forward and then also the seat belt won't bug your neck. So it says Hello Kitty shoulder pad. Super cute. Okay. Then I purchased two of these Gildan uh, boxer briefs, and I purchased two packs, two ninety nine each. They're in the large, fourteen to sixteen. I got one for Jordan, one for Robert. But what I didn't notice was they're boys. I thought they were men's. They did have men's underwears, but they weren't the briefs. They were like the tidy whities just those regular type underwears, and they will not wear those. I don't even buy them white underwears, in all honesty, but I was like, wow, that's a good deal. Three pairs of boxer briefs. I don't even think they're going to fit Robert. They look really small, so um, I may just um, take this pack back and exchange them. I don't know, though. Every time I say I'm going to exchange something at 99 cent only, I've never once exchanged anything. This one I already opened, so I'm probably just going to have to give it away. So I was a little bit bummed about that because every time I buy underwears from 99 cent only, even for myself, they end up being the wrong size. And they're super good deals. I picked up this, and I've said before, it may be TMI that I share this type of stuff with you, but... I don't care. You guys will know that it's there. It's the Playtex Sport Ultra Thin Pads. I thought it was a great deal. It's in the regular. It's got wings. You get 18 of them, and it was $2.99. I thought that was an awesome deal. They had, which I purchased last time. Um, oh, wait. I'm thinking of the S Smoke and Mirrors brand. I purchased... Makeup in that brand at 99 cent only last time. It was really pretty. They had a bunch of these Cherimoya. And last time I got in the Cherimoya a set with a mascara and I think an eyeliner. Well, they had a bunch of these liquid matte lipsticks. And then they also had the metallic ones. And I thought this one was so pretty, especially for a dollar. I probably should have picked up two of this one. They had lots of other really pretty colors. But... I decided not to get every color that I liked because I have so much makeup that I rarely use. I never, ever wear makeup when I go to work. It just, I feel like it's a waste of my makeup and it's bad for my skin. I only work at Dollar Tree, so I didn't want to get more makeup that's just going to sit there. And makeup does expire. So this one says, is there a name on it? Or just says Rouge. Like nectar on the lips, runs smoothly across the lips as a liquid, but dries to a matte finish, specially formulated to pigment lips without signs of feathering or cracking wand application. And I love the nude type colors. I think they're really pretty. These flip-flops I actually got on my last trip, and I forgot to show them to you guys. I actually had another pair, but I gave a pair and a Mother's Day gift to my friend Marie. I gave her a leopard, like, purple, hot pink, and leopard pair. So this one has the little cactuses on it. It's got the braided um, straps. It's in the Studio 74 brand. These were a dollar. I got the extra larges. So they're not like 
the nicest quality flip-flops, but I feel like they are a little bit better than the Dollar Tree flip-flops. You can get a couple wears out of these in the summer. Then I got this pair with the avocados, and then like I said, the leopard pair that I gifted away. I got... Where is it? Sorry, guys. I just seen it. Where the heck is it? It's the Baby Lips. It's the Baby Lips Lip. Lip Balm. So I was looking everywhere for it in the bags, and it was right, like, in my lap. So there was, like, six of these, and I put them all in my cart. Then I realized that only one of them was a lip balm. They were the exact same packaging. All the other ones were for your cheeks. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'd use the ones for my cheeks. So I put them back, and I just got the one lip balm. I didn't dig completely through all the bins, so there might have been more of the lip balms. I don't know why it says recall on it. I didn't even see that. That's kind of alarming. Um, but it says kiss of rose tinted lip balm. So I'm not really sure that I'll be using this because it says recall. So that's kind of weird. It was a dollar though. Then what else is there? Mm, is that everything that I got from 99 cent only? That might be everything that I got from 99 cent. Oh, then for the baby shower present, I forgot to show you guys. I got this Johnson's Baby Shampoo. It was $2.99. I need to get um, some rubbing alcohol and get that sticky off right there because that's where the big price tag was. It said $2.99. And it also started leaking a little bit, so I need to wash it off. And that is 25.3 ounces. They did have big baby powders, but none of them were in Johnson's. So I just got the small one for a dollar. They can put this in their diaper bag. I just need to take that little sticker off on the bottom. And I believe that's everything from 99 Cent Only, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Like I said, I have a Dollar Tree haul that I will be filming next. I need to get Robert off to school, though, so it may not be uploaded until tomorrow. I will film it today, but it takes a little while for my videos to upload. So I hope you guys, like I said again, enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe because it will notify you guys every time one of my videos is uploaded. If you don't subscribe, then you won't know when my videos are, are uploaded. Sorry, I can't speak. You'll have to go search for them. It helps me. It'll also help you out. Then I also have my Instagram, which is breakup to makeup one. You can see a lot of the items that I did and didn't purchase, just items to show you what's out in the world of shopping. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.